Hello everyone. Uh, this is Victory. It's me on the host, and uh, there is one unit of decking floor which is ready in the workshop. We already somehow made some simple test, and just let's check together what it is the decking floor. Firstly, I'm gonna to introduce the sheet what we made from the machine. This is the first panel, what we call it like B deck, 1.5 inch B deck, and the left and the right side, which which is with hook. Another side as well. And once we back to the machine, we can see the sheet, the sheet is without hook. So on this unit of the machine, we have combined these two kinds of the sheet, which is with the uh, hook, which is without hook. Actually, there was one name for the bay deck, that is 1.5 VL and 1.5 VIL and 1.B deck from machine. This unit of the machine is made for USA, for American customer. This is a completed set. So let's gonna to check the roller and on this machine we can see the sheet on the ground is, is flat surface and the sheet which is tested on machine that is with the ribs. So the decking with the ribs can be used for floor and the sheet without the ribs could be used for roofing. So what we call it like a roofing decking and the floor decking. The machine has combined the 28 rolling stations. Uh, once you just follow my camera and check the machine, we uh, there is some several points to share with you what makes the Lotus machine is much more better and the performance good. For this machine, the thickness of the sheet should reach up to 1.5. To adapt the machine capacity, the first important thing is about the roller. For the roller, we have used the raw material is GCR15. And the secondary part is about the shaft. The shaft diameter is 95, as well as we got to have two motor for drive the completely machine. One is located here. Another one is located in feeding part. Just uh, follow the rolling stations. We will move over there. You can see how many rollers it's gonna to use to form the shape. To build up the roofing decking machine, the most important thing is just to make the machine heavy, stable. Another one, another motor. The power of the motor is 15 kW, which means the completely set of the machine needs 30 kW. And then we move to the feeding part. After the feeding guide, we have two stations to make the reinforce. First station, secondary station. Two stations to make the ribs, embossing ribs, feeding guide. and the machine is transferred by double chain. Check. 
double chain transmission. The machine is transferred by double chain as well as to make the ribs or don't make the ribs. It's changed by this kind of the manual clutch. With this manual switch, we can make the embossing roller press on the sheet or just release it from the sheet. It's kind of, it's kind of the manual, manual way, manual switch. Okay, from the feeding guide, we can check the line once again. Embossing roller, the first two stations. The first uh, two stations rolling, uh, embossing roller, embossing roller. And we can count their station. Uh, this is the fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 90, 91, uh, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And this is the operation panel to be coupled on side to somehow to save the space in the workshop. And in the next step, we're just gonna to run in the, run in the machine.